Happy Saturday, everyone. Welcome to Fresno Metro Black Chamber of Commerce's home shopping experience. We have an amazing episode prepared for you today. We are gonna do everything from getting your summer body ready to getting your summer hairstyles ready. So sit back and relax, get your credit cards out and get ready to shop local. Ready to unlock all the available resources to you as a black entrepreneur? Want to connect with one of the largest business organizations in the Central Valley? As a member of the Fresno Metro Black Chamber of Commerce, you get the power of these resources and more. Become a member. Visit fmbcc.com slash membership and get started today. And we're back with Arthur Moye from Full Circle Brewing. How are you, Arthur? I'm great. Happy to be here. I am so excited to have you here. I think it's important to note that Arthur and I actually just came from an event <laughs> right before this. And we, we were working before this because this is what business is like. Oh, yeah. I mean, this show is for local entrepreneurs and us highlighting local business. I think it's really important to highlight that as entrepreneurs ourselves, it's, it is not like some cookie cutter, perfectly timed thing. You do what you got to do when you got to do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, okay. I didn't really know where to begin with you because you and I are, are actually doing something together right now. We're in business. <laughs> we are business. in business. I, as some of you may know or might not know, I am opening a new restaurant called Grumpy Burger Ladies, and I will be opening it at the new Full Circle on Fulton Street. Can't wait. Can't I wait. cannot wait. What's the address there? It's 712 Fulton Street. 712 know? Fulton Street. And, uh, I got to sample some of those burgers today, and they're fired. <laughs> yes, we have started running our test kitchen, and we're actually going to be doing some some serving starting next weekend. So I'm really excited to be serving burgers along with this amazing beer. But let's get to the beer. Tell me, tell me about Full Circle. Tell me where this concept came from, where the idea came from. Yeah, so so Full Circle is actually the longest running brewery in Fresno, and a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. So it was established in 1998. Uh, and uh, I am not a, a professional commercial brewer by trade. I'm a CPA by trade, a numbers guy. And I had a side hobby. And that mm -hmm. side hobby was, you know, brewing craft beer in my bathtub. Right? Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> so uh, I came across uh, Full Circle for Sale and just decided to hit the reset button and uh, sell my accounting practice and purchase Full Circle. I love yeah. that so much. I love that you're an accountant turned brewer. Because <laughs> you're always very buttoned up. Oh, yeah. It's me, I'm the beer guy. <laughs> you're not the yeah. typical beer guy. Yeah. It's like, no, not really, hopefully not the typical accountant either. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so you started with the first location in Chinatown. Mm -hmm. Right? And yeah. was that the original Full Circle? That was the original Full Circle. Oh, good. The, the building was built in the 1950s. It was a postal service station, driving wow. the postal uh, trucks inside, fuel them up, out the back. And then after that was Blues Auto for about, you know, five years or so. And then it was Full Circle. So same owners for about 18 years until we took it over. That's amazing. Yeah. I think that that's great that you guys took over something that existed already here. And we get to carry on that legacy. And continue those years taking back. Okay, so you bought some stuff, and honestly, I'm gonna start tipping on something. So Let's do it. we have a uh, pie, pie of the tiger. <laughs> is this a new flavor? It's it's been a, it's been around a little bit. It's our it? hip hop puree series, pie of the tiger. So that's oh like my god, apricot pie sour, and you can even taste the graham cracker crust in there. I think you guys are so great at your branding. I think I told you before, it's kind of like an urban grunge, yeah. like. <laughs> I love the hip hop references, but like, you know, that kind of the grungy style of things. Your art is always amazing, and your flavors are always amazing. I'm popping this. Open. That's how it is. It's Friday. Cheers. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Please do. Please do. This is nice and cold. Oh my God, that's good. I'm not even a beer drinker. Oh, it really tastes like pie. It actually tastes like apricot and i taste the crust and like some of the spice oh my god that's amazing. <laughs> and this is a gate this we, we call all of our beers are kind of gateway beers so a lot of people who don't oh, like craft beer, beers like our, this is a sour believe it or not but really? yeah, it's just it's just tart enough with all those flavors to kind of introduce you into the sour realm of craft beer so i love that I also love your ciders. You guys recently started brewing ciders, right? We did. We did. So we, we purchased, uh, you know, silver lining of uh, of COVID. We were actually able to pick up the IP rights to Sonoma Cider. Uh, Amazing. So 
Uh, this was a company that was established in 2013, I believe. And uh, unfortunately, went out of business and all of their assets and got purchased, right? And, and the one that was left was the IP. So we were able to pick it up. We bid on it. There were no other bidders. And we, we picked up Sonoma Cider. And these guys were actually distributed all over the state. So they had over 33 distributors. So it's, it's, it's been great. Um, we're actually contract brewing this now. It's delicious. Uh, so, yeah. This is the, the pear flavor. This is a pear flavor. We just came out with a pear flavor. Uh, and it is. And you also have an apple. Pear, apple, and bourbon. We, we've got bourbon oh. at the tap room right now as well. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to get that. It's, it's pretty good. 712 Fulton Street. 712. Anybody who wants to stop by, we have officially soft opened. Yeah, yeah, officially soft open. We're just kind of dialing everything in, getting beer tenders trained, and uh, we didn't really advertise. It's it's been uh, the community has responded. I think people are like done with COVID and trying to oh, get, get out. Get out. You know? Yeah, summer but, is going to be a blast at Full Circle. I can guarantee that. Oh yeah, we have live entertainment all the time. That's a big part of our, our brand, uh, beer, beer entertainment. That was know, exactly so. what I was just about to ask you. <laughs> tell me, if for anybody who doesn't know Full Circle, tell me a little bit about you guys and, and what you do. You've got uh, great artists coming through all the time. You guys put on amazing shows. Right. Food trucks, continue. <laughs> yeah, our, our whole thing is uh, cold beer, live music, and a third thing. And we like to say a third thing is whatever brings you full circle. So that could be bike polo. I love that. The know. third thing now is burgers. Right now it's burgers, <laughs> right, for sure. <laughs> so we, we, uh, we, we've we got, before COVID, we were just hopping. We had two venues. We did over 600 events in one year, you know. And then, unfortunately, actually, on my birthday, you know, COVID shut us down. Wow. So we had to make a pivot, uh, and we just went big into distribution and pack packaging. So... Now, uh, silver lining of COVID, you could find us uh, all over the state of California. You can find us Nevada, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Oregon, uh, and that's all right out of uh, uh, Ch- Chinatown and down in, near downtown Fresno. That is so amazing. I have definitely been out of state before and seen it in the fridge and been so proud to see <laughs> Fresno beer. We're getting out there. Yeah. I love it so much. So you're making beers, you're making ciders. I also have um, this custom can that you did for us at the chamber. I remember during COVID, you guys released a Black is Beautiful beer alongside the Chamber, right? Absolutely, yeah. We did a Black is Beautiful beer. Um, you know, we, we also did a collaboration brew with four other, or three other Black-owned breweries. You oh, know? my gosh. Uh, Helicoastal uh, and uh, Speakeasy, which is also Black-owned. And there's only a, a, a few of them out there. And uh, Oak Park Brewing. And each one of the four cans had a civil rights leader on it. You know, oh and we had Fred Hampton. Yes. So, which is, which is, and then uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. Yes, uh, yes, yep, yep. And that was a really good one. And so you redesigned that for us. Um, and I, this is just amazing. You actually collaborated with our marketing girl, Shatira. And uh, it has our 20th anniversary logo on it. This is really amazing. I think, like, your ties to the community and the the things that you're doing with local organizations, the fact that you're tackling, you know, issues like race. I mean, that's something I think a lot of breweries wouldn't necessarily do, but during Black History Month, highlighting our leaders, I think that's amazing. Uh, no, I, I, absolutely. That's what we've all been about um, is is just bringing forward uh, community, you know, and, and the initial nine investors of Full Circle were all about downtown revitalization and we're a whole group of diverse folks uh, I even said today uh, to, to our entire staff, I think we're the most diverse brewery in the entire United States. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that because there's only one percent that are black owned. So right, <laughs> so you probably are very diverse. Yeah. So. All right, so give me the rundown. Uh, where can they find where can people? Find you online? Yeah, media? So, so we have a we, we have a cool program that we started a full circle uh, shipping program. So you all over the state of California, you can have this beer shipped right to your doorstep on Amazing. full circle to go with the number two dot com. Um, we also you can find us in all the major retailers. So we've got uh, Costco and Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, uh, Total Wine, Bevmo. Safe Mart, Safeway, so you you can find us pretty much everywhere uh, up up and down the state, which is pretty pretty cool. I'm but, so proud of you. I really am. <laughs> I'm I'm proud of this. <laughs> well, we appreciate we totally appreciate the support, you know. And it all started here. Uh, and we we didn't think we had no plans to get outside of Fresno, but you know Fresno supported us, and here we are. You've done work with the chamber to help you in that growth, right? Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent, especially during COVID. You know, I, I would say. You know, uh, the chamber was really there for us uh, during the entire COVID. 
like very, very early on when we got shut down, it was like, you know, what do we do? You know, uh, and, uh, and Tara, Chamber was your first call? Tara, Tara, well, was it? I didn't even have to call. <laughs> she <laughs> called you. Yeah, because we met us. I love it. We had the opportunities, and, and we just, we, we pursued those. So I was uh, highly impressed. Yeah, and, and, and very glad to be a member of the Chamber. Well, we are grateful to have you as a member. Thanks so much for coming through, Art, and bringing me a cold beer. Yes. You guys make sure to go by Full Circle Brewing. The new location is at 712 Fulton Street in downtown Fresno. Come and have a beer. 